Welcome one and all to Wild City. My name is Deep Space Matt, and today I'm the new mayor, and if I want my city to grow, I'll need to choose my citizens carefully. From birds that like flowers, to truffles that like trees, I'll have to strategically plan the placement of each tile in order to maximize their synergy. And in between days, I can add more cards to my deck and choose game-changing structures to define my build. Can I make the right choices to restore my city to glory? Let's find out in Wild City. All right, here we go with Wild City. This is an upcoming deck builder that says it takes inspiration from Slay the Spire, Dwarf Romantic, and Luck Be a Landlord. All very excellent games. Now, there is no release date as of yet, so what you're going to be seeing here is an early build of the game. There is, however, as of this recording, a demo that you can download and try for yourself. If you want to check it on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. But for now, let's get right into it and play. Oh, you must be the new mayor. Wild City used to be the best, but hardly anyone lives here anymore. I need you to arrange citizens, collect taxes, and build every facility. Let me show you how it's done. Place Tulip in the middle of the city square. Hello Tulip, you are a plant, a flower, and you are small. You collect taxes by placing citizens in the city square. Here you can check how many wild bucks a citizen makes once played. Collect more to expand Wild City. You can check your progress down here. Alright, so we have a 5 out of 20. We also have a 0 out of 6 on the right, so I'm guessing we need to do this 6 times. And there's also what looks to be a time track, because we have one out of presumably 24 hours. Make enough money before the end of the day or your time as a mayor will be over. Place ant in the city square. Plus two per worker ant in the group, max plus 10. Citizens such as ant earn more when their condition is satisfied. These want to be close together. Let's get more ants. Very nice. Place ants close together. So this will give me plus four up to nine. Yes. This one wants to be close to flowers. Plus three per adjacent flower. You can check a citizen's tags down below their condition. Let's get rich. Place hummingbird next to tulip. You can rotate tiles. Press escape to check the controls. Select tile, rotate tile, place tile, undo selection, and move camera. All right. Uh, oh, but can we, like, check our board out first? Oh, we can. Space over here. Very nice. And I guess we could also cancel, right? We can click on this. But right-click to cancel back out. Yes. So these two here are plus four just by themselves. And if I place it here, that's an extra plus four, so plus eight. But can I get two flowers next to each hummingbird? Because that would be plus six per hummingbird, including the two they have naturally. So plus 16. Yeah, I can totally do that. Like that. Go up to 30. Oh, very nice. Keep making money every day until Wild City is fully expanded. You're on your own now. Good luck. All right, daily reward. Oh. Plus 30, said something there. Redwood, turn end, plus 1. Or a hawk, kill small animal below and move me there and gain plus 2. Oh my. I like how their abilities are kind of related to the animal itself. Like a redwood just continues to grow, but it grows slowly. And a hawk is, is on the hunt. So it's going to take out our, <laughs> our hummingbirds. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, we want to keep our hummingbirds. We're grabbing the redwood. Click a deck up here to check your cards. Yes, very nice. All right, we want to have the redwood out first. So it can start growing immediately. The more of the same card in your deck, the more likely it is to appear. All right, hummingbird goes right in the center. Maybe we can surround the hummingbird with flowers. Killing citizens is essential in controlling space on the grid. Holy cow, cat. We're not doing that just yet. And we can go... We can go like this. That worked well last time. 
turns left plus 21. Oh yeah, that screen goes by too fast. I can't read what that is. There's another track there too. Botany, plus one when you place a plant. Zoology, plus one when you place an animal. And entomology, plus one when you place an insect. So we have one more plant than the rest, right? We have four plants and three animals and three insects. So maybe we go with the botany. You can get rid of cards you don't need anymore in between days. All right, do I want to commit to this? Let's do this and see what the rest of our draws get. Okay, they don't get any more ants. The tutorial is meant to teach you the ropes. For a real challenge, press play in the main menu. Oh, are we still in the tutorial? That's fine. We're we're going to uh, we're going to see it out all the way up to six. See what happens. Let's put you there. And oh, we need to get up to thirty-five. Hover tiles to know how much a citizen scored. Oh, very nice. Five. Oh, there we go. Plus six. Let's get, you know, the redwood gives us eight by itself without even growing. And yeah, see, we're going to grow and we're going to be just fine. You can undo your tile selection by pressing right click. Indeed. Fountain, add two riverbed to your deck. A riverbed, if adjacent to water, transform into river. And a river gives times two to adjacent tiles. Absolutely. Let's go. Oh, when we get some extra tiles to work with. I like that. And we're slowly, looks like, coloring in our city down here. Click a deck up here to check your cards. Yes, thank you. Okay, so here's the riverbed. This is water, right? Yes. So we want to place this either here or here. Let's go like that. Oh, and it, it displays the times two on the tiles as well. That is excellent. Oh, this would be good. Let's go. Let's go here. And we want the redwood. Ooh, we want the redwood on a times two, don't we? As well as the hummingbird. Oh, and of course, we get no flowers. Ooh, we can expand the river, though. Yeah, if we put the river here... We lose a times two tile, but we get three more. Let's do that. And okay, there's our there's our flower. But of course, oh, we <laughs> I could have put it here. That would have been perfect. Maybe we can connect the ants. We'll do this. Okay, another riverbed. Don't think I want to use. I guess I could use it over here. Or we can just set this flower here, get some extra on the hummingbird. Ooh, another tree. How much are you getting me right now? Plus 16. You're excellent on the times two. We're going to do that. And oh, we're not getting those ants. Sure, we'll go like this. And we made it up to 100. Very nice. Treehouse, count down three, plus seven to adjacent tree and bird. Or ant hill, oh, day start, add queen ant to your deck, round start, plus two to adjacent ant. And the queen ant, plus five per ant on the board. On play, remove me from your deck. Okay, so, so the day start, we get the queen ant. And I'm guessing the round... A round is an hour on our time track. So it's giving plus two to adjacent ants every round. And the queen ant gets plus five per ant on board. Doesn't even need to be adjacent. That sounds great. But we do have a, we have, we have a tree. We have, we have more trees and birds. Countdown three, though. So we have to wait three turns. And then it happens. I'm not quite sure how the countdown works. Either A, when the countdown reaches zero, it'll give plus seven to adjacent trees and birds once, or does it gain this ability so it's constantly doing it? So any trees and birds we place after the countdown still count? I'm not sure. 
I don't know. I kind of like the Queen Ant, though. We're going to go with that. Oh, here we go. Add cards and remove cards. Add cards. Wolf, if adjacent to one wolf, transform into wolf pack. Wolf pack, kill adjacent small animals, plus one. No. Daisy, give plus five to adjacent insect. That actually sounds pretty good. And a honeybee, remove adjacent flower to spawn honey. Honeys, give plus three to adjacent insects. That's great, but plus five to adjacent insects sounds even better. We're going to do the daisy, and that helps also with our hummingbirds. Because it's, it's a flower. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, we can re-roll, actually, for only 20. Let's do that. Another daisy. A cactus on play, plus three per adjacent empty tile. A locust, kill adjacent small plant to spawn a locust. And then it's around for three turns. Um, Do I want another daisy? Let's grab another daisy. Let's go back. Do I want to remove anything? I think I'm fine with what I have right now. Oh, do we get more tiles? Yes, excellent. Oh. So that's the anthill. Plus two to adjacent ant. So we want to place you here. And then maybe we can get a riverbed going. To get a times two on you, we can have the river come out this way. Yes, like this. And we want more ants. So we'll do this. Oh, wow. Plus 30 already. Because it's getting the times two. It's getting plus five. It's getting the worker ant. So another plus five and a plus two from here. I'm sure that math adds up. <laughs> We're going to put you over here. We get a flower bonus. Another flower bonus plus an ant. But we do want the ant. You know what? We want the ant next to the ant hill. So we'll go like that. We need to make it at 275. That is a whole lot. Oh, we're getting a lot of hummingbirds and flowers. All right. Well, if that's the case. We'll go like that. Oh, there's a tree, though. This is good. Both of these are great. But we'll grab the tree, and we'll get this riverbed going as well. More times two. Plus five to adjacent insects. I should put you next to the queen ant, shouldn't I? I mean, this is going to cut them off. Uh, let's go. Actually, let's go here. All right, we're going to make it no problem. Double tulips, that'll work with the hummingbirds here. We get another tree. I guess we're cutting off this worker ant. Feels a bit bad. Uh, we can't really place the daisies effectively. But we can get you next to two tulips. Yeah, we, we've gotten this just fine. We can extend the river out here just to get some more times two tiles. Oh, look at this. Metro A, spawn Metro B. Tiles adjacent to Metro A and Metro B are adjacent to each other's. That's good. Countdown to spawn a mystery egg. Oh, look at these. Snake, turn and kill adjacent bird. Plus two per adjacent building. Spawn an egg. Can I see? Oh, I can't see what an egg is. And something else to the left, it goes, can I scroll this? No. Okay, I can't see what else it has. 
Cemetery, plus 35 when adjacent card is killed. Uh, we're not going that route. I guess we go with the Metro A. Oh, and I wonder, is this more rare than this one? Because these two are gold. This one's blue. I'm guessing they are. Let's grab the Metro. And look about adding something. Another Daisy. Spider, plus three when adjacent web is killed. Turn and spawn a web. A web, kill adjacent small insect. And then the web is destroyed. Sloth, countdown three, plus eight. And then restart countdown. Okay, so the countdown doesn't restart unless it specifically says it does. So you're getting plus eight every three turns or three hours. That seems pretty good. And stick you on a times two tile. I mean, you don't really synergize with our botany or our anthill. I think you're good nonetheless. Down to 78. We could re-roll. Let's try it. Flytrap. Kill adjacent small insect. Transform into flytrap closed. Flytrap closed. Countdown 2. Transform back into flytrap. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like it eats, it eats the bug. And then it takes a couple turns to digest. And then it's hungry again. Capybara. Give plus 4 to adjacent animal. And a rabbit on play, spawn a rabbit if it, if it jays into another rabbit. Holy cow. 13. Oh, rabbits go crazy. I can't afford you, though. Do we have a bunch of animals? We have four animals for the capybara. Not sure if it's worth it. We're just going to continue on. I don't think I want to remove any cards. Okay, that's better. Now we have space all the way around our anthill. So let's go ahead and, you know, let's start the sloth off because he's going to take a while to grow. We're going to put you here with the idea that maybe we can get some river going. And let's do this one like that. Oh, yes, we need the redwood. And it'll give times two. There's the queen ant. We want you going. Like that. A regular ant or another sloth. What is our sloth at right now? Plus, tw I mean, <laughs> we need to get a 750. Sloths, I think sloths are going to do well. I'm going to go like this. Ant. We need to get our queen ant going as well. This will benefit the ant and the hummingbird. We want another redwood going, right? What are we at here? Plus 16. So we can come over here and do this. A daisy or just a worker ant. Let's start getting some ants this way. Another riverbed I like. Although we have cut the river off here. We can't get the river down here anymore, unfortunately. What's our other option? A daisy and a tulip. All right. Well, yeah, let's go here. All around the hummingbird, I suppose. Yeah, get a riverbed going this way. More ants. Plus 20 on you. You're doing great. Redwood. Redwoods do well. We are, we are halfway through our day. Oh, are we going to make it? You're at plus 64.
I feel like we messed up with our water on our river. That we should have used that better. I shouldn't have cut it all off. And we need, man, we need more ants. I feel like the sloth is only good when we have it on the times two. This here. Or like this. We're not getting any ants. I mean, the daisy works with the ants. Let's get more flowers around you. I think we're going to be cutting it close. Oh, here we go. Daisy and an ant. Oh, that, that's a lot of points there. 76 on that one. Unfortunately, the riverbed doesn't help us right now. But we will continue with the ants around the anthill. Okay, 74. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're going to make it. Uh, more ants. Next to the daisy. And another daisy maybe actually this daisy can only hit one ant although i mean technically this is adjacent right if we put it here maybe getting the the hummingbirds actually up is a bit better more hummingbirds oh it's getting late into the into the day so i like how the the lighting changed And get this ant over here, and that should do it, and we should be good. There we go. Excellent. Oh, there we go. And we get we get to see how everybody did. Is this for the entire... Is this just for this round, or this entire playthrough? We got a victory. Let's go check out how these other... Levels go. Oh, we have a collection as well. Oh, and we have sort of grayed out the ones that we didn't actually put in our deck. There is, wow, there's a whole lot. Yeah, we have gold, blue, white. Any other colors? No. All right. I do kind of wish we had a total count of collection, like we have maybe 10 out of 100 or how many ever there are. All right. Let's go ahead and see what these levels are like. Oh, we have City Center, which looks to be the one we just played. Deep Woods. We have a Puffball, a Mining Bee, and a Lemming. Then Scorched Desert and Glacial Peak. Let's try Deep Woods out. Choose Citizens. We have a Mining Bees, Turn End, Move Below, plus two. So does that mean below as in on the board? Or are you going to dig into the ground? Puffball, remove one adjacent small animal, transform into Puffball Empty. What is Puffball Empty? Puffball Empty is nothing and you go down in taxes to one. So you're gonna remove a small animal like the lemming? Why would I want you to remove an animal? I'm not sure. How does that, does that synergize with something? Well, let's try it out. Let's try these mining bees. I'm guessing it's going down the board. Yes, it is. Okay, so you wanna place them up high. And you know, if we do this, so here we'll gain we'll gain seven. So I'm guessing I gain the taxes from the lemming. 
when I play them, so it doesn't matter if it goes away. So I'll gain seven, and the puff ball will turn into an empty puff ball, which is another one, which will be eight. And then both of these guys will move down. So they'll give me another four. So I'm going to gain 12 and go up to 18. If I'm doing the math correctly, let's try it. Yes, indeed. Oh, so is it just to, is the puff ball just to make room? Is, is that what it is? We're like, I'm going to collect your taxes, citizen, but we need space. We need space for new citizens. So you got to get out of here. That was awful too, by the way. The puffball took no prisoners. Of course, now the puffball is empty. So you are safe. Okay, we have a mosquito. Turn end if adjacent to animal, plus three. Sunflower, turn end if it's the daytime gain, plus two. And a sheep, plus six per adjacent sheep. I wonder what time it turns from day to night. Oh, I can't see the board from here. I'm guessing like at maybe six o'clock. Let's grab, let's grab the sheep here. See if we can get a ton of sheep going. And I don't think I want to remove anything just yet. We can add some cards. There's the mosquito, the fly trap. The fly trap might be okay, actually. Honeybee, we have no flowers. But once these mining bees get all the way down to the bottom, they don't do anything for us anymore. And they only start off at one as well. So they're not gaining a lot in taxes. The fly trap. Oh, we'll gain five. Oh, wow, man. So we have to keep feeding the fly trap in order to get taxes from it. Maybe that's not good as well. Let's pass on that. And we're just going to go the next day. A bunch of lemmings. A mining bee. You know what? Let's get the lemmings going. And then, oh, we got no, I was going to say we can get a puff ball, but we get no puff ball. Okay, the sheep, you'll be up here. Here we go. We'll do this with the mining bee. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Remove one adjacent small animal. Which animal are you going to choose? My sheep is a small... No, my sheep is a medium animal. Okay, excellent. But yeah, I wonder which uh, lemming you're going for. Okay, you're going for that one. I wonder if there's a particular order. Like it starts in top left, like the topmost or the leftmost. Another mining bee. But then again, you, this mining bee is only going to move down one. Yeah, we need to get rid of these mining bees. They're not particularly great. So you're going to get... On a place you're going to get one... Then we'll get three the next turn. So the lemming is better. Put the lemming there. Not what we're looking for. Lemming there. But we made it. We only needed 30 anyway. Entomology plus one when you place an insect. Zoology plus one when you place an animal. Or diversity plus 10 when you place new cards. Interesting. I mean, I think I want to get rid of these mining bees. I don't think they're helping me all that much. So I'll say go with the zoology because I want a bunch of sheep. I want a bunch of animals. And we can add a daisy plus one to adjacent insects. We're not going the insect route. Morel. We get spores and they'll turn into more morels. Bumblebee. We have no flowers. So we're not going that route. Maybe we just come back here and you know what? Let's just get rid of this mining bee. There we go. Okay. So we can only do it once per turn. We'll grab, <laughs> we'll grab this and just immediately get rid of the lemming. Take your taxes and say adios. We'll get a sheep over here. Oh, double lemming. Not what I'm looking for. Okay, mining bee, you're there. Start your way on down. Oh, there we go. Another sheep. Get that bonus. Excellent. All right, we have a fountain, two riverbed. That's pretty good. Electric central. Add two pole to your deck. Spawn a battery. If adjacent to charge, transform into a charging pole. If adjacent to electric, transform me into a street light. 
and streetlight times two to adjacent tiles. Sounds pretty good. Bonfire times two to adjacent tiles add two ember to your deck. Ember, if adjacent to fire, transform into a flame, and then a flame, kill adjacent plant to spawn a flame, turn and remove me. Oh, that's good. Wait. I want the flame, right? Because we can get rid of the lemmings with the puffball, but then after that, the empty puffball is just taking up space. And it's a plant. So we want the bonfire. And we get times two to adjacent tiles. I mean, the riverbed is great, but this should help us out maybe better. Add cards. Mosquito, if adjacent to animal, plus three. There's the morel. There's the wolf. We don't want to kill adjacent small animals, or maybe we do. But then we need two wolves to do it. And it is, it's only plus one. If we have like a recurring source of small animals, that would be great, but we don't. Again, I think I'm gonna skip this. We're gonna remove a mining bee just to make these turns more consistent. I get some extra space, that is excellent. Our bonfires at the edge, which is not great. This is not what I'm looking for. Maybe we get a, a times two. So this ember should turn into a flame and then just leave. Yes. Oh, there we go. Puffball. Oh, yeah. Get rid of you. And then if we can get another ember here, just like this. That'll get rid of, wait, is it going to get rid of this puffball or this one? Where is the flame again? Kill adjacent plant. So is it all adjacent plants? Because the puffball specifically says remove one adjacent. This just says adjacent plants. Let's try it. Let's try it with the times two, just in case. Oh, it does. It gets rid of all of them. And we have a clear board again. Ooh, sheep on times two. Puffball plus the fire and the ember. Gets rid of all three of those. Very nice. Uh, this is not what I'm looking for. We'll just get the times two on them. I mean, if anything, doing all that, we're just wasting hours in the day, so we do have a time limit. Let's get the sheep on another times two. Oh, but we're blocking... We're blocking the flame. I don't necessarily want to do that. Let's get you over here so the bee can start its descent. Okay, so that is a concern. I want the times two around the bonfire, but I don't want to lose access to the flame. A truffle plus 20 per tree above? We don't have any trees. Now I want trees. Lucky Clover, extra chance for better cards. I'm not going the wolf route. Do I just grab this? If anything, it's a plant and I can I can burn it away if I need the space. Okay, I need another redwood is what I need. Give me redwood? No, a snake. Turn and kill adjacent birds. We're not going with birds. Bumblebee? No. We don't have flowers. We're not going flowers. We're going to get rid of another mining bee. Our last mining bee. And then... Do I want to re-roll for 20? Sure. Sardine plus 11 per sardine below. Sloth, you're going to get plus 8 every 3 turns. Maybe the sardines? 6? So you can get plus 22, perhaps? That could be good. Let's try the sardines. Alright, double puffball. Well, we're going to do this. Actually, well, we have no trees, so I'm not worried about having nothing above the truffle. And actually, actually, if I do something like this, I can get rid of the truffle again. Like that, exactly. Oh, man. Yes. And that'll open up that times two. 
So I can just I can just do it all over. If I go like this, or maybe like this. Let's go here. And then get rid of them. Give me a bunch of points. Clear up the space. There's another sardine. I want that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, sardines are small animals. I guess we'll boost it. No, let's go this this route. Oh, but now I can't get rid of the truffle. I'm blocking again. I'm blocking the the flame. I guess that's fine. We are halfway through our goal, and we're only five hours in. We'll be fine. Get rid of all use, and get some more. Wait a minute. Sure, get some more sheep connected. And there we go. Veganism plus five when you kill a plant. Disinfestation plus five when you kill insect and pacifism. If you didn't kill any card last turn plus four. We're going with the plant, right? Because we're burning a bunch of plants. What do we got here? A starling, a stink bug, and a bush. Another plant to, to, to burn. <laughs> Just burning the entire forest. If killed, push adjacent animal one tile. Interesting. Oh, because it's a stink bug. So it gets killed and it, it releases a smell and the animals move away. That's great. Oh, I didn't even notice we have gems down here. This is a green gem. These have no gems. And this is a slightly different border color. So I'm guessing these are like commons and maybe uncommons. Uh, do I want to get rid of something? I don't think so. I think we're doing okay so far. And I, I mean, we could grab a bush just to get rid of it. But I don't think that really helps us much. Uh, Rerolling is kind of expensive with how much these cost. So we're just going to, we're going to pass. Plus nine per starling above though is not bad as well. But we're going to pass. Keep it going. I want to see if I can keep my deck maybe focused more. So sardine above. Truffles. We can go. Something like this. Let's go like that. And then we can. Yeah, I don't know which one it's going to get rid of is the issue. Let's grab the sardine, start it off up here. And, oh, here we go. Do this. Uh, we can get sheep going as well. Let's put a sheep over here. Oh man, all these puffballs with all these lemmings. <laughs> I'm so sorry, lemmings. That got rid of you. It's not the one I wanted to get rid of. Sardine, plus 11. This will not do what I want it to do. So how do I get rid of... I go here. We'll see which one it gets rid of. Okay, so the left one. So maybe it is top left to the right. If I put this here, and hopefully get an ember right here. Oh, never mind. I, I keep forgetting to look at the track to see how close we are. I'm just so worried about placing things correctly. Fire station, transform adjacent flame into a sprinkler. Add one ember to your deck. Sprinkler times two to adjacent 
uh, what does that say? Adjacent tiles. Adjacent plant can't be killed by fire. Count down five plus five to adjacent plant. Okay, but I want to be... I want to be getting rid of plants. I want to be burning them with fire. I think in my particular build. A volcano times two to adjacent tiles. Add one ember to your deck. Remove bonfire from the board. So this replaces the bonfire. And does it do... It does the same thing? Add one ember to your deck. Where's my bonfire? Oh, over here. Times two to adjacent tiles. Add two ember. So this one adds an extra ember. Totem times two to adjacent tiles. Add an effigy to your deck. Effigy if adjacent to fire. Transform into a burning effigy. Burning effigy. Round start. Plus one to adjacent animal and insect. I really don't have insects. But I do have a bunch of animals. Maybe this one's better. I'm guessing the volcano is larger than the bonfire, so there's more adjacent tiles for it to affect. But this one also gives me times two adjacent tiles. The effigy does need to be next to a fire, though. Can I see this? I can't see this card, though, unfortunately. All right, yeah, we'll grab we'll grab the totem. See how that works. Add cards. Give me a tree. There's the tree. What is this? Cordyceps. Kill adjacent insect to spawn a random insect or an insect question mark. Countdown one. Transform into a cordyceps. What is this? Is this a real type of mushroom? Oh, is this? Aren't there? There's fungi that attach themselves to insects, right? Is that what that is? That is awful. <laughs> well, we're not going the insect route. We also have a leaf cutter ant. Kill adjacent small and medium plant. Every worker ant in the group becomes a leaf cutter ant. Oh, becomes a working leaf cutter ant? Turn and transform into a worker ant. Oh, wow. So you can get rid of a bunch of plants at once. But no, we're grabbing the tree. Because that will help with our truffle. And I like the redwood anyway. Let's go back. I don't want to remove any cards. I th Yeah, I think we're okay. Plus, it, it costs 60 now to remove. Oh, yes. More adjacent tiles. Oh, no. The totem spawned in completely the wrong place. It's sharing an adjacent tile. If only that turned to a times four, that'd be worth it. Look at this year. This is pretty good, I think. Wait a minute. Come back here. Tree above. So we want the redwood to be up above. We want it to be like this. We can go like here. We'll go here. Hopefully get an ember there. Oh, no, there's my truffle. But that, that is an awful combination. Not in the right way we want. Uh, but we can do this. Oh, no, I forgot. Oh, we got rid of our redwood. I forgot that when it burns, it replaces the plant with a flame. All right, this is the burning effigy, which will give plus... Plus one to adjacent animals and insects. Um, I mean, I guess here is pretty decent. All right, let's get this uh, get this tree going. And you know what? Just just, uh, just be careful with it. Just be careful with it. Uh, there's our oh man, there's our truffle. Remove the small animal. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I gotta be super careful here. You are, you're just giving, you're not burning anything. You're not destroying anything. So I think we're fine with you. I can get rid of the lemming. Not that we need to. We can... 
Man, I'm going to burn all of my plants that I don't want to do. Then again, we're doing fine. Look at us. We're a quarter of the way through and we're more than half of the way there. But I don't think it's going to matter too much. Let's get the sardine. And we'll start you off here. Uh, this is bad. We're going to burn the entire forest. Although, I don't think it matters. I think we're going to make it anyway. I mean, we do open up the times two again, but we made it. And we get extra for the number of turns left anyway. Sea turtle can't be killed. Instead, move and transform into a turtle shell. Oh, are you a small weight? No, you're a medium animal. So I would want to have something that tries to kill it, but can't, right? I mean, 15 sounds great. I'm going to grab you. Flytrap, morel, spider. I'm not excited about any of those. We're going to reroll this. The capybara, I think, is not bad for us. How's our deck looking? I mean, maybe the puffballs and the embers have lost what we want to be doing here. Let's keep going. All right, so we want you on the times two, but like this, so we can get maybe two trees above you. Or actually like this, two trees above you, two redwoods above you with times two as well. They gave us 36. Because we got... Where do we get the extra from? 10 times 2 is 20, plus the 15, that's 35. I'm getting one extra, oh, from, from one of these, right? Yeah, when you place an animal. I see. Uh, you know, let's have get this going up here. So we can start, uh, I'm just keeping space open. We can use our embers over there. There's a tree, that's what we're looking for. The capybara is a medium animal, so I'm not worried about it going away. There's our ember, the burning effigy. Let's just get ready to use. And we got some sheep. Yeah, maybe the sheep aren't doing well for us right now. We just don't see enough of them unless we can find another card. I mean, I'm guessing we're just going to be surrounding our capybara with more animals. Oh, sardines. That's right. There's another truffle. We go... Maybe like that? I'd want it to be here. I don't want to do it like this. Yeah, because we lose the below the sardine and above the truffle. Here, we get above the truffle, but we don't get the times two on our redwoods. Maybe we go... Maybe we go here. Just get some more sheep together. Another truffle, another capybara. This is, that does not take each other out. But we can do, we can do that. We got plenty of spaces. Oh, there's a tree. Sure. That'll work itself out. Patience plus six each time a card completes a countdown 
Invasion plus six when you activate a spawn effect or Charity plus six when you activate give effect. Oh. So we don't have any real spawn effects, right? We have transform effects. But we do have give with the capybara. So I guess we're going that way and we don't have any we don't have any real countdowns. No. So we're doing charity. Take a look at what we got here, a ghost plant plus 9 per adjacent mushroom. The puff balls are mushrooms, so is the truffle. It's not bad. Snake, we're killing adjacent birds, no. Bumblebees are flowers, also no. Yeah, let's try the ghost plant. And we're gonna go back. Okay, I feel like, man, okay, well the capybara works with sheep and sardines even though they're not doing much for us right now. I could get rid of a puffball. I don't think the puffball is doing as great for us as it was at the beginning. We'll get rid of one puffball. It is a mushroom. Oh, of course. I was going to say, it is a mushroom, but I think we'll be fine. Never mind. You're just going to give me all ghost plants <laughs> the entire time. Uh, you know, let's go here with the sardines and see if we can't get some times two going. And just have sardines go all the way down. Uh, I don't like any of this. You know what, sea turtle? Give me your 30. Okay, there's another sardine. There's a truffle, but we're going to lose it to the ember if we try and get it here. Unless we go... We can go like this. Actually... The truffle is worth more if we get times two on it than getting plus nine for the mushroom. And this leaves it open to putting a tree above it as well. But then ah, but then we lose we lose space to get more sardines below on this side. What's our other options? Double lemmings? That's not a great option. You know what? Maybe we just Maybe we just put these over here. Or we resign to the fact that we're going to lose. Yeah, maybe we do this and we just we just lose the truffle. There's a redwood. Let's grab a redwood here. Times two. Maybe we can put a truffle down there. Another redwood? Sure. I want a truffle right there. Burning effigy. Which does plus one to adjacent animal and insect. Uh, yeah, we can put you right there. Okay, there's more sardines. Although, wait. You're going to eat get eaten by the puffball. Times two, we'll gain it, we'll lose it. And we will unfortunately not have a single ember to deal with. It's fine, we'll clear up that area. Oh, there we go, truffle. And don't catch on fire. Yeah, look at that. A ramen shop. Countdown three, remove all food on the board, plus five per food removed. Okay, we're not making food. That would be if we were going like the honey route. Countdown five, plus 15 to adjacent animals for a nursery. And here's the tree house, plus seven to adjacent tree and bird. We have much more mammals, right? We have the lemmings, the capybara, the sheep. We're gonna go with the nursery. Ooh, extra truffle. A kitten, kill adjacent milk, whoa, to transform into a cat, and there's different cats? When killed, spawn a cat with one less life. Oh, that is great. So it's got nine lives. It's a medium animal, though, so our puffballs won't get rid of it. 
Let's get another, let's get another truffle. Too expensive to remove another card. Oh, I even noticed we can look around our lovely city a bit. Uh, there's our truffle. There's the sea turtle. You're not a mammal, however, unfortunately. Uh, man, I want the truffle right here. Yeah, we'll do it. More truffles, plus the ghost, which doesn't really... Man, help us much. Because we can't get the effigy next to the fire and get the truffle on a times two. We'll go there. There's our redwood, which we want above the truffle. But the lemming is awful. Sardines. Wait a minute, where's our countdown here? What are we at? Countdown five. I do wish I would be able to tell what the current time is on this. Let's get our sardines going. I'm just gonna stick you way up there. We get adjacent mushrooms. Oh, but we lost a redwood, that's fine. We got plenty of spaces to put redwoods right now. Okay, well we didn't get anything there for the nursery. But it'll reset. I need like a single, a single redwood. And even this double redwood won't fit here. Let's do this. That'll get rid of you. Truffles, more sardines. How are we doing? Hour 10, 376 out of 600. I think we're doing okay. Do I want to get rid of a bunch of these to clear up space? If I move it over here, that gets rid of all of these. Don't know if that's worth it. Probably not. We're just going to do this. I mean, then again, I can place new new citizens there, right? Uh, grab the sardines again. Grab, oh, I, I forgot to check with the nursery what the timing was on it. We're halfway through. We're looking okay. Let's just get uh, a truffle there. Let's get a capybara. Okay, I think that reset. I think I missed it. We're going to get a... a tree above this truffle. And we made it. We're good. Not the best around, but dragon plus 20 per fire beside. Yes. Eucalyptus, if adjacent to flame, spawn a seed. Turn and transform into a sapling. Sapling, countdown one, transform back into a eucalyptus. That's good as well. Killed, spawn a snail shell. And the snail shell, when killed, gives plus 25. But we need a way to get rid of it, which we don't. I mean, this is gold, right? I don't think I can pass this up. I do like the idea of the eucalyptus. And that I can place it, say on a times two around the bonfire. Then burn it to turn it back into another eucalyptus and just keep burning it over and over again. But, I mean, dragon. If you have a choice of a dragon, you pick a dragon. And and the eucalyptus, I, I don't know why I'm talking myself into why I made the wrong choice. The eucalyptus is also a tree, right? So it'll help our truffle. Anyway, there's another sheep. 
we can actually get this sheep going, but now that I'm thinking about it, plus six is really not what I want. A bear, kill adjacent honey, we're not doing honey. Let's come back in here, and you know what? We're going to get rid of this sheep. There you are. And we don't have enough for much, so we're just going to go to the next space. We're 10 out of 15, there's the dragon. So, yeah, 100% right there. Easy 77 to start off with another dragon and a burning effigy. What? Uh, flame. Next to a truffle, not the best. But this will give the dragon more, right? Do we get more from the dragon from that? Does the... Ember counts as fire. Is that only counting when I place the dragon, though? Okay, there's a tree. Which I want that going with the redwood below. Capybara, you're a mammal. You can come down here with the nursery. Another dragon with our sea turtle. That all burned. This will all burn as well. We can have this going like that. Sardines, more embers. Is this not adding? I kind of thought that whenever we got a fire next to it, or does the fire need to be permanent? We'll see, plus 69. If we do this, does that give you more? Plus 71? Oh, plus 55, so it must be. Oh, that's plus 71 now as well. It only gained three. Oh, it's just, it's getting it from the burning effigy. So putting more fire next to these dragons isn't going to increase it. We need permanent fire. Uh, we have, we can't place this next to our mushroom here. We're just going to get a times 30. Oh, double truffle. And then mycology plus nine when you place a mushroom, mammalogy plus six when you place a mammal, or dendrology plus 10 when you place a tree. I think mammal is our best option. Mushrooms. Wait, we have... We have four mushrooms, and we have one, two, three, four... Oh, we only have four mammals, so it's the same either way. We do seem to be getting a bunch of mushrooms, and I would rather place ghost plants and truffles than I would place lemmings, so maybe the mushroom is the better choice. What do we have as far as added cards? A stick insect, a crab, turn and move to the side of adjacent to shell, Transform into a hermit crab. Oh, that's how we get the shell from the the sea snail. Hermit crab, turn end, move to the side, kill adjacent shell, plus five. Or another <laughs> another dragon. Come on, we gotta pick another dragon. That was just too good. Look at that. Excellent. And yeah, we'll go next. We we're at over an hour, but you know what? We're keeping it. We're keeping it going. Four more turns? Yeah, we're going to see this out. Oh, an effigy plus a dragon right next to it. That's what we want to see. And we can get... How do we want to position this? Like that? I guess like that.
And there's another dragon. We'll go there. Another dragon. I should probably place this. Oh, can I get it next to the nursery? I cannot. Another, yeah, come on. All these dragons. We got to be doing it. I'm going to put you over here. Maybe I can get some mushrooms around you like this. And I can get mushrooms like that and put some trees. Maybe a, a redwood right there. There's a redwood. Is that? We lose the sardine. But we get the redwood. Oh, yeah. Look how great we're doing. Look at this. Oh yeah, like that. And capybara, ooh, plus another effigy? Wait, does this count as fire? It does. So I can get another effigy here. Or maybe here is better? Maybe there's better. More dragons, absolutely. We'll put the puffball next to the ghost. Was it ghost plant? What was this called again? Ghost plant, yes. There's another tree, which we can't fit over there. Uh, none of this is really great for us. So maybe we just set it like this. We can get some sardines below. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're done. An obelisk plus 20 for each mythical on the board. There's the metro station and a clock tower. At days last five more turns. I don't think we need extra turns. I think we've been doing great. The dragon is mythological. We got two cards of him. We go obelisk. A bumblebee, a morel, a crab. Not interested in any of you. Am I interested in removing a card? Am I interested in removing lemmings? I think I might be. I want other cards. I mean, the lemming helps with both the the nursery here as well as plus one when you place an animal, but it's such a small, such a small amount. Plus one. Yeah, I think we're getting rid of the lemming. I mean, it helps with the capybara, but... I don't think it's worth it. Or actually, maybe we can get another dragon next turn if we're lucky. But we'll spend we'll spend the money. The bucks. We get more space, that's excellent. There's the obelisk. Oh wait, is the obelisk adjacent? No, just on the board. That is excellent. We're going to come here. I'm going to put you there. Now we can get a tree above you. As well as get rid of that. There's the effigy that we are probably looking for. Go like that. This is... Not great, but I mean, we can we can burn them. We can gain what we can from them and then burn them. Another dragon. Yes. Uh, we can put the mammal next to the nursery. More dragons. This will get rid of the puff ball. Let's go here. So the puff ball turns there. I could hopefully burn him down. Oh, yes, another effigy. Uh, let's place you here. Maybe we can get a dragon right there. That's what I'm looking for. 
Okay, we're doing okay. We're not doing great though. 9 out of 24, 766 out of 1600. Another ember. Do I want to burn something? I can't burn anything right now. Well, I guess I could. I can come over here. Well, no, I have to I have to get this to come around so I can burn all of this and get this space freed up for for more dragons. I could No, get rid of that lemming, but that is not a times two space. These are down here. So you know what? Let's just uh, let's do this. Another dragon. We can't. We can get on a times two over here. So the dragons are fire themselves. So actually. If I put you here, that'll activate this ember and then burn all of this. I'm mainly trying to free up space right now to place new citizens on the times two tiles. This will also get rid of... If I, wait, if I position this correctly, like that. I don't get the dragon on a times two, but I get rid of all of these plants. Is that a good idea? We're losing out on the redwoods growing, but it is only plus one per turn. Maybe I'm okay with that. Yeah, excellent. Look at that. That was a good choice. Okay, and now we have more space. Like I can, I can get it. I can get this dragon right here. Dragons are amazing. Uh, we got sardines. We got the truffle for trees above. We're just gonna put you. I'm not concerned about you at all. Maybe we get some sardines going. Maybe we don't. We can get another effigy going like this. Where are we at? Turn 14 out of 24. It's pretty good. Times two. Let's go there. And Uh, we want, so these guys, I don't even, these guys give it to each other as well. Unfortunately, I can't get a tree above that truffle. But we made it. Ooh, forest guardian plus three per plant on board. We got tons of plants. Do the mushrooms count as plants? They do. They should. Forest Guardian, let's go. Another mythical as well. That works with our... I can't remember what the name of this tower was. Add cards. Not interested in any of this. Killed, spawn a pearl. Day end, plus 5% chance to find bitter cards. Do I want to get rid of something? More lemmings? Get rid of lemmings. Even the capybara right now. All right, yeah, Force Guardian. You know what? You can be like way over here since you don't interact with anything, right? Oh, you're a mammal. So you can come down here with the nursery. This is not what we're looking for. You know what? You're an, you're an animal and a mammal. Yes, so capybara. There we go. There's our dragons. There's our dragons. Uh, let's place them like this. And there we go, we can place some truffles. There's an effigy though. Yeah, we want that effigy. 
Another Force Guardian? Yes. Puff balls, we'll get rid of that. Or we can just, you know what? Get a bunch of lemmings. To buff our animals. Do, oh no, wait. We're fine. We're gonna go... Like this? And we're gonna get you over here. An effigy, we want this to be able to buff. We need more fire. We don't necessarily need all of this. Sardine below. Are we doing okay? We're like sort of right on target. Maybe I'm placing things a bit too haphazardly. Let's go here. We want another forest guardian. Can we burn something? <laughs> Can we burn something? I want space. We can burn all of yous. I feel like the Redwoods really want to be on a times two. I want to put you here. Oh, man. Fine, we'll do that. We're halfway through. I think we're looking okay. Another forced guardian. I do wish I had some kind of stats that would tell me how many plants we have. Like, I want to know how many plants are on the board right now. We can place you like this. But then we can't burn anything over there to get rid of those plants. Well, we'd have to burn from here. Actually, we can burn from over here and burn all of this. We'll go, we'll go here, sit you beside a bunch of fire, more fire, I think, okay, there we go, burn it all down. There we go, a nice controlled burn. And yeah, Force Guardian. What are you innately at? Zero times two on you. And we made it. I, I do wish I could look at the board afterward just to see what everybody was gaining. Plus 14, when you place food, we have no food. When you place mythical, we do. We have no shells. We're going with religion. Add something really cool. An orca. Kill one animal above and move me there. Plus seven. Ooh, you're 15. I feel like... No. Killed, spawn, a lizard, tailless, and a tail. I feel like I don't want to dilute what I have right now. But the orca... The orca sounds very nice, honestly. We're going to remove our last lemming. Part 14. Uh, I don't like any of this here. I don't like any of this. We'll go over here and see if we can't get some trees above you. Just going to move you way to the side. 
There's a dragon and an effigy. I like that. I place this. No, I need the effigy here or actually maybe this side. We'll go like that. More dragon. We're going to burn this redwood, aren't we? We are. But we're going to get times two on it. And I'll leave space for more dragons. Another effigy. We kind of want to chain effigies. So you have a lot of spaces for the dragons. And go like this. We get these times two spaces open for dragons. More dragons, but you got a bunch around you. So I'm going to plop you right down there. Oh, here we go. Plus the forest guardian. Go like that. Another forest guardian, another effigy. All right, we can go with here. We want adjacent mushrooms. So you're doing swell over there. We can get rid of the capybaras, I think, as well. Uh, maybe there. More effigy, more truffle, redwoods. We can burn some stuff. I don't like any of these. We'll come here and do that. We have the guardian times two. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Double. Oh, it's an awful place. I need a single ember. I don't know if we can get single embers anymore. More dragons. We do want more dragons. We have no more times two. Well, we have a single times two in there, but uh, we got nothing we can put there at the moment. We can get this effigy going, give a little boost. And you know what? Surround you by mushrooms. And there we go. All right, victory. Oh, it wasn't two more. It, that was the last one. So we were on 14, heading to 15. Look at all this. Yeah, our dragons definitely doing the best. 2,600. That was great. But that's going to do it for this video. Once again, this has been Wild City, and this game is a lot of fun. I definitely see the influences of Slay the Spire, Dwarf Romantic, and especially Luck Be a Landlord, and similar types of symbol builders where you're trying to assemble your deck and have it synergized to where it can just go crazy when you play all these cards. Once again, this game has no release date as of yet, but there is a demo as of this recording if you want to download it and try it for yourself. 
If you want to check it on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching.